A couple of those events, the uh, the uh, breakaways killed me. Um, even the last one, I mean, I was out there for basically what felt like 20 minutes. So, um, no, nah, it was fun. It was, it, was, it was a great time out there tonight. Can you d describe like how difficult this was? Like a lot of skills competitions, you do one thing, you're done. Like this was like a lot of work. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I did not expect to be huffing and puffing after uh, probably three, four events. So. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm glad I kind of got it in because uh, I'm not getting to practice in before my next game, so mm -hmm. got the legs going tonight. Should should uh, should keep me in shape for Monday. Do you think that this really made it more of a competition, like this format? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think you just... I mean, we're all having fun out there and enjoying it, you know. But when it comes time to, you know, get moving, guys are moving out there, so... Um, and then you saw in the in the last one too, like you look up, you, everyone's looking up at the standings. It was tight, so uh, I'm glad it. I'm glad it, you know, was interesting. Obviously, Connor's exceptional and everything. So it's he at the end, of course, ran away with it with uh, with the win. But you know, it was it was close there for a minute, which I think was good for the good for the event. Did you think you had him on the fastest skater with your time? Um, <laughs> well, I went first, so um, you know. And then I'm watching him, and the way he moves out there, it's basically perfection. So um, I knew it was going to come down to the last second. I think that 13, three to five range is usually where the winner is. So I knew I had a chance, but uh, kind of lost an edge there coming around the turn. But no, I mean, you watch him skate around the thing. He's he's the best skater in the world. So yeah. why did you pick Igor? Um, picked Igor. I mean, first of all, you you really you're picking among the best so I mean there's no there's no easy choice you know um, and it was more so just he plays for the Rangers and I knew people back home will be watching so I thought it'd be he obviously has a relationship with Sorokin so uh, yeah I thought, it'd, I thought it'd be fun if I picked him for uh, for the New York fan base. Is that cool for you to have Connor Bedard with you at one of those Yeah it was cool kind of seeing him grow up so um, it's fun to have him here uh, I was giving him giving him some heck uh, that he wasn't hitting in my wheelhouse Funny, the first pass I sent back to him. So now he's he's a great kid, and I'm glad he can make it out today because you know he's the future of the game, and it's nice for him to show face tonight. Yeah, I guess just for you know some other guys to maybe meet tonight or just spend some time with him or maybe one kind of new for you. Or um, yeah, a few guys. Um, you know, JT Miller, the Canucks guys, Quinn Hughes, uh, Pedersen. I've obviously hung out with uh, you know Austin and Connor McDavid a little bit before, so. Yeah, I mean, there was a bunch of new faces. Leon, pretty much everybody in there, other than Connor and uh, Austin, I didn't really know. So, yeah, fun to just kind of hang out. And... What do you talk about? Um, it's pretty all over the place, you know, just uh, personal stuff and then, you know, team stuff and league stuff and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, we had a lot to talk about tonight with all the events and whatnot. It was, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Honestly, I was a little, I was a little anxious uh, about yesterday and today, so I'm happy that it's over. Um, tried to nap this morning, this afternoon. Couldn't really, couldn't really get down. Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm excited for tomorrow, but I'm just, I'm happy that uh, you know, the last two days are over. Is, is that just because of the talent in the field, and you, you know, one way or another, you're being judged well, against these great yeah, players? Yeah, absolutely. I think <laughs> you look at. The 12 guys today, um, you, know, you know, you go into it like, <laughs> like some talent out there. So, um, no, that's part of it. Yeah. Dude, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Um, how much have you enjoyed this, like, kind of fun little skills rivalry that's been going on with McDavid the past couple of years? <laughs> like, I wouldn't really call it a rivalry there, just yet. Them, um, and going toe to toe in multiple events. Right, I mean, just just can't couldn't edge him out today in any of the skating stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, I said earlier that that lap I skated a couple years ago um, when I won it was borderline perfect. So I I knew I probably had to skate that again today. I didn't unfortunately, but I mean, in terms of um, skating and, and, and stick handling and whatnot, he's honestly the he's he's a, he's he sets the bar. So um, lucky for me, I I've been able to watch him over the last pretty much 10 years, you know, saw him for the first time at 15. And um, yeah, honestly, I have just a ton of respect for his game and his skating. It's, it, it really is just 
poetry in motion when he's out there skating and crossing over. So, uh, yeah, just uh, unfortunately tonight, just, just not my night. <laughs> For what it's worth, uh, Connor just said that the mini nets made him nervous too. So. Well, I figured, you know, everyone can kind of get through the, the cones and whatnot. I, I knew that was going to either be the make it or break it. And clearly it was the break it for me. So, <laughs> did, uh, yeah. Did you have, like, looking back, did you have a favorite event? Like, the, the one you just enjoyed competing in the most? Was it the fastest skater? Um, it wasn't the fastest skater. That's, that's honestly probably the most nerve-wracking thing. Um, the passing one tonight, I missed the first target, and I just was like, oh, boy, come on, find it. So... <laughs> Um, I was, uh, I thought it was all, all pretty fun. I was looking forward to the one-timers, to be honest with you. I thought that was interesting just with the targets and kind of a new event. So, um, I personally love the format this year. I bet you fans, I had a bunch of texts yeah, right I mean, afterwards you know, saying that, uh, it was <laughs> super fun to watch. So, well, I was hoping he would, he would, sl you know, slide, uh, to me, um, just because, uh, at least not because I, contributing, even anything about him or just, just, just purely New York rivalry. And like, I know he's got the relationship with Sorokin, like so, like um, so I thought it'd be a fun pick. Like Do you feel like, like your really game like overall and especially skills wise, like obviously your, your offense this year in the regular season has reignited yeah, I mean, it's playing great with you did, you right. Had, you said you do like one thing and then you're kind of down. Like um, do you feel like you uh, chill, so it's, kind it's of not really much. You just can pull gear. So I think so. It's more about the guys doing this. You know, I don't know how they yeah. keep in the future. But, right. I appreciate that. Um, um, yeah. I feel like I you know. I feel like it's always been there. It's just like you get to do. A matter of points. A matter of our power plays clicking now. So that's an extra. 10, 15 points a year. Um, yeah. You know, but I do feel like my actual overall play is probably the best it's been in my career. I think the last five games, five, six games uh, have been probably five or six of my best games in my career, just overall, just with back checking and takeaways and taking the puck to the net. So, I've never really been. Yeah. Past couple of games, like past five games, of Patrick Waugh um, era. Is yeah, that I was curious to see what I could get. My goal is kind of over 95, 97. So you individually. To get yeah, I, I'd be lying if I saw. Yeah, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't huge. Um, he's. Uh, He's, he is the man, truly. Um, so much respect for him. Not that I have, don't have respect for every coach in the NHL, but uh, it's Patrick Waugh, you know. I mean, three Conn Smythe, four Stanley Cups. Um, then even just his message early on to our team and to me personally, just it meant a lot. Uh, things that, you know, he um, spoke to me about. So um, he's a guy that, uh, you know, it's cliche, but you, you honestly want to want to run through a wall for. So um, I feel like me personally and the rest of our team, a lot of guys' games have elevated over the last four, four days and or four games, sorry. And that's not that's not to say anything about our previous coaches. Like they did a heck of a job. They were extremely detailed and. Yeah, we I mean, played a lot of good hockey under those coaches too, but um, obviously Lou had to make it. You know, felt like he had to make a change, and I think um, if you were going to bring in a guy, Patrick was the perfect guy. What do you think the format worked well? What, what do you think worked tonight? Um, what do I think worked? I think I think it all worked. I mean, I didn't get to watch it through the TV, so I don't know how it looked back home, but judging by the text that I got after the game, it seemed like everyone enjoyed it. So. Um, obviously, I thought it was great. There was a little bit of, um, a lot of sitting down tonight uh, between events, but I mean, that's how it's going to be when you got 12 guys going. So I thought it was great. 